in our nation's capital between the Cowboys and the football team. Over or under 48, Reed? Uh, I'm going to go over. Uh, I think Dallas, it, look, Dallas is first in pace when they're leading by more than a touchdown. I think this is what's going to it's going to be. Like 72% of the cash guys is on the over. 53% uh, uh, are, are on the like of the tickets are on the over right so we see a lot of early money jumping on this like i think washington football team they're playing good football but like i'm not sure that they're going to actually be in this game i see dallas actually beating that you know the you know what out of the washington football team and look they're playing good football but i do think that if you take a look at their last three games right uh, the washington football team against the vegas raiders with no darren waller seattle and carolina that was led by uh, jeff's very own cameron newton and I don't really think those are really tough tests of football. Now you get Dallas, who's playing extremely good, even though, or extremely well, even though they have some injuries of their own. I think actually Dallas is going to put up 30 plus points. I do like the over. All right, Pierce, you taking the over in this one? No, I'm going to go with the under. And I have uh, some concerns about Reed's analysis. Not that there's anything wrong at looking at these games when we do it every week. We say, oh, well, that team's not very good. How do we know that those three games were, you know, soft matchups? With all the Seattle? parity in the league. You think Seattle's a good offense? No. They won last week, didn't they? Didn't they beat San Francisco, who we thought had just all of a sudden come back? I mean, if, you, if you're worried about my analysis, everyone with two eyes does not think Seattle is a good football team. And I'm telling you right now, I've watched the Raiders all my life, and they are not a good football team this year. They can't play defense, and Cam Newton played after one week in training camp, or one week, excuse me, in practicing, Carolina is not a good football team. Do you really think those three teams are good football teams? Yeah, well, did San Francisco think that Seattle was a good football team? How did that work out for them? No Debo Samuel. Thought, I mean, Charles Kittle played well. Yeah, I mean, look, look I mean, it's any given Sunday, right? For every single game, for every single week. The point is they won the game, they win these games. Washington, you look at the first six games, they allowed 31 points per game. The last six games, they've only allowed 19 points per game. That's a pretty good turnaround. And against the Dallas team, that hasn't been very consistent either. I think Washington defense will be able to get the job done. I don't think Washington's going to score. They don't have the offensive weapons. Terry McLaurin's overrated. Gibson, I mean, these are good players. Gibson's a good player, but he's been overhyped by Jeff Ulrich a little too much. Ooh. <laughs> they've got an average offensive line. They've got a bad quarterback. I think this is going to be... Uh, Maybe not necessarily a defensive game, but the defenses will play good enough and the offenses will be poor enough that this will stand the need. All right, uh, Jeff, this game has everyone heated. So over or under? I want to change my answer just so I don't have to agree with big bully Pierce now. Just throwing <laughs> out, you know, I'm overhyped. Get out of here. You seen all the comments back there? That's not overhyped. All right, look, I, I, I like the under here too. I mean, for, for a lot of the reasons Pierce laid out, but like Washington, their, their defense has improved, and their offense still can't score in the red zone. They're second last in red zone efficiency. Gary and throw out, like, way more fancy stats about this last week. But basically, Washington has an offense. They move the ball, and they don't score touchdowns. It's not a great recipe for the over, especially with their secondary playing better. I actually really do like the under quite a bit here. Um, Dallas, yes, they could get off offensively. But even when they've scored a lot of points, like, th their defense has also kind of blown teams out and and there hasn't been a lot of points coming back so i, I think this game is just uh, a little bit too high right now for me to like the over i like the other